Well, guys, I survived the dentist yesterday. Barely. My mouth is still a bit sore and it feels weird. I had a headache the rest of the day yesterday after that, so I was pretty pretty miserable, so I never got to the video I wanted to, but I'm like, I just can't. I couldn't. I was like, I hate the dentist so much, you guys. They just make me so miserable. I was miserable after that, just absolutely miserable. In the dentist for an hour, just for a cleaning. Ugh. But today is a new day. It is a beautiful sunny day outside. I got my window open. It's so fresh and clean out. And it's time for a mystery. That's right. I have brought out my mystery glue book again. This is one of my top five favorites. And uh, how I do my wonderful mystery glue book is I have here... I can't even fit the whole thing in the camera as I have a big box here that is just full of a bunch of random images. Small, big, large, full pages, words, backgrounds, people, just fussy cuts, just a whole slew of all different stuff in here. And how I do it is I usually close my eyes and I grab a piece at random and I glue it down. And that is how I have got these really awesome and very different kind of looking pages. They're just, I love working in this one because, you know, it's just, it's it's mystery. It's random. You use whatever piece you grab and you just have to try and create something. Some of these turned out absolutely incredible. I love this so much. What I love about this one is I don't have to think. It's like I don't have to really do any thinking. Just pull out a picture, stick it down. Pull out another picture, stick it down. No peeking, no looking, you just pull out something and you find a spot for it and you stick it down. And some of these turned out so incredibly cute and adorable and I love it so much. And I do, I love a good mystery. So let us get into a brand new page. So here we go. How we start. I have my box full of images here. My eyes are closed. I know you can't see me, but I promise my eyes are closed. I cannot see what I'm grabbing. So I'm basically going by feel right now. So I can feel if it is a full size page. I can feel if it's a small square or if it's a fussy cut, like I'm grabbing something right here. This is a full size page. I can feel this is full size. I'm not sure if I want a full size page to start with. I kind of want to maybe put some squares together. So let's see if I can't try and grab a few small images here. Okay, let's see, what is this? Okay, this feels like a fussy cut of some kind. Yep, we don't want that. I'm trying to just dig in, grab something. What is this? Okay, here's a small square. Here we go. I can feel it's a small square. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. I can't see. So I'm going to set that aside. That'll be our first image. Let's see, what else? What is this one here? This feels like a bigger square. Actually, there's some... Nope, this might be a fussy cut. This might be a fussy cut. Well, it's a pretty big one. You know what? Let's be daring. Let's be daring and grab this. I don't know what it is, guys. I have no idea. I'm going to set that one aside, too. <laughs> I love doing this. I love doing this so much, you guys. It is so much fun. You should really give it a try. Just get yourself a small little box, throw in a bunch of images, and then just pick at random. What have I got here? What is this? That feels like another fussy cut. Okay, this feels like a rectangle of some sort. We're going to start with that. Okay, I got three images picked. I'm going to stop right there. We're going to stick with that. And let's see. What did we grab? What did we get? Oh dear. Okay. Oh, that would be a background color. And that is, oh, oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. And then it looks like we got, oh, okay. We have got a uh, image of what Salty Dog Sangria is. And actually what I can even do is I can even just fussy cut out that glass if I wanted to. I don't have to keep the full picture here. I can cut it down, fussy cut it. I can use whichever side I want. If there was something on the back that I preferred more than this, I could totally go with that. So I'm actually kind of liking what I've already got here so far. I love the colors of this. This one down here at the bottom would be perfect. I'm kind of thinking maybe this on the side here like that. And I wouldn't mind sticking that like right there. What do we think? Actually, I don't want to if I stick it behind, kind of like like that, or I could put it over here, or let's let's switch it up. Let's maybe maybe if I stick this one like right here, and maybe put that up there, that could work too. I am gonna need some more pieces here, so I'm not gonna glue anything down just yet. I want to grab a couple more and uh, see what I can try and fill in these spots here. Now, 
I don't need very big pieces. So I'm going to try and feel for some smaller ones here. Let's see. What have I got here? This one feels like a fussy cut. Yep, this is definitely a fussy cut. I can feel the edges. Don't want that one yet. What have we got here? I think this is a fussy cut as well. Darn. Oh, I keep grabbing fussy cuts. I need squares. Wait, 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 wait. This is a square. Okay, we're going with it. It's a square. I don't know what it is, but it's a square. Okay. Only you guys know right now until I open up my eyes. Only you guys know. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Grab something else. Yeah, I'm kind of trying to, I kind of dig through to the bottom and then pull some out to the top here. I got a lot of full page images in here, which is, you know, I don't know why I did that. So many, like, I think that's a full page. That's a full page. I don't need any full pages. I need small pages here. Wait, wait, wait. Is that, is that one? Okay, I think that might be one. Okay, all right, we got two more. Let's work with that. What have we got? What do we have on here? Oh, okay, that's pretty. That kind of goes with the green theme here. Oh, and a tray of food. Oh, I love that. I love that. That's actually really pretty. I love those colors on there. <gasps> those colors are gorgeous. Oh, I love that. Okay. Let me think here. And now, I don't have to use them all if I don't want to. But I kind of try to. I just, you know, as to add to the challenge in a way. Hmm, let's see. These might be... What I could do is cut this one down a bit. I wouldn't mind getting rid of the border on this because I kind of just want that, that black color there. I might not use the background that piece, maybe. I don't know. If I stick that one right there, maybe. And I could stick this there. Hmm. Let's see what's on the back of this one. Okay, there's some smaller. Hmm. I still like this this one though. What I might do is I wouldn't mind it kind of like that. Actually, if I put this there. Like like putting puzzle together. You gotta play around with the pieces. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this or not. I mean, this is cool. I like this one, but it's almost too big. I'm kind of working with an interesting piece here. This odd shape here. I could cut it down a little bit more if I wanted to. I totally could, but I don't want. I, mm, man. All right, we've got a challenge here, guys. We got a challenge. We do. And again, I say you don't have to use all the images you grab. You just kind of got to work with it. Got to work with it. And have fun with it, too. Like, I'm kind of... Do I want that piece there? I mean, this piece actually would look really good right there. Then I got these weird gaps here. Why do I have those gaps? I don't know if it's gaps. I mean, I could always cover some things up. There's nothing wrong with that. Actually, I kind of like how that looks right there. <laughs> I kind of like that. We can always find some small little fussy cut images to kind of fill in those blank spots. We don't we don't have to use these. Again, I say we don't have to use everything. But I kind of I kind of don't mind that actually. I do. I like that. All right. All right. I'm going to glue it down. If I like it, if I'm keep saying that I like it, then we're going to go with it. Definitely. We're going to go with it. All right. This one has to go down first. This background piece here. Absolutely. And again, you don't have to do as much thinking with it. You can just totally grab it and glue it down right away. Or if you want to keep like all, um, if you don't want to have such a mix, like if you want to have all your fussy cuts or words or full pages, if you want to just have a, a mix of just like squares and rectangles of smaller size, you totally can do that. Remember, it is your glue book. You can do it however you want. You can do it whatever way you want. I need to get another glue stick. We need more glue. Oh, gosh. Oh, these caps don't like to come off. All right, I'm going to get this one down here. This is a big piece. Yeah, 
It is almost the weekend, you guys. I have got to try my hardest to get some yard work done. I really, really, really need to mow my lawn. It has gotten so long already. I mean, we had some, we're getting some nice warm weather. We had some rain and thunderstorms. So my grass decided to pop overnight practically. And I'm like, I don't even know if my lawnmower will start yet. It's like, I gotta, I gotta pull that baby out. I gotta get gas for it yet. I don't even think I have gas for it. So I'm like, don't know if it'll start. Don't have gas for it. And I need to mow because it's supposed to rain this weekend. It's supposed to rain all weekend, Saturday, Sunday, thunderstorms. I'm like, no, please no. It's like, I got so much yard work to do. I got raking to do. I've got all of my patio furniture I got to pull out yet. Put my hammock up, my swing. Ugh. I've got so much. I got, and I still want to try and clean out my garage too yet. That's a, a whole, like, several hours job yet, too, because I got to pull everything out. I want to wipe down all the containers because, you know, I had little critters that decided to leave their bodily function leftovers all over everything. So it's got to be cleaned and probably sanitized and sterilized, sweep everything out, go through stuff if I, you know, want to get rid of it. And I'm like, that the last time I did that, it took me over six hours just pulling everything out, cleaning it, and then putting it all back. It's so like, I, it has to be done because it's disgusting. At the same time, it's like, I don't have six hours to spend doing that. And it's hard work. A lot of those containers are very heavy. There's a lot of stuff in it. I'm like, I don't want to do that, but it has to be done. So I'm like, help. All right, let us go ahead and find some more. Should I dig through my small ones? I have a little basket here of like my small, tiny, tiny ones. Small words, little tiny images. We can dig through here and find some pictures. How about we do that? Because I just got some small little spaces here. <clears throat> Let's just go ahead and dig through our small little basket. Let's see what we got here. Eyes are closed. I can't see. I can't see anything. So I'm just going to grab out a couple little things here. Most of these are going to be fussy cuts. So there's one. There's another. Grab a couple. I'll just grab a couple. Okay. Here's another one. Oh, we got a circle. Yep, yep, yep. And one more. One more. Let's be daring. Okay. Oh, here's another tiny one. Another fussy cut. Okay. All right. What did we get? What did we grab? Looks like we've got a little, a little tag. Oh, cute. I like that one. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Oh, oh, that's perfect. Oh my gosh. I like these. I like these a lot. They're almost like perfect. Okay. Let's see where, 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 where. I'm actually kind of, I wouldn't mind this right here. Hmm. I can put this tag. This tag would actually be really cool. Like right here or something. Like actually right there. If I can get it in a spot it'll cover most of that white i kind of want these right here because it looks really good on that background but trying to cover up this odd space here oh my gosh actually what i could do is if i glue that halfway i can use this other half piece and probably glue it over here that actually be really cool and then i can stick this maybe behind it oh i kind of like that oh i like that i like that a lot Okay, yep, we're doing that. We're doing it. So I'm gonna start with this one up here. Let's glue this piece down. Actually, I'm gonna need this, I'm gonna make a mess. I don't wanna make a mess. Not today, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling like making a mess today. And we're gonna stick you right there. <laughs> then we're gonna glue the little tag down. Tag next, all right. Okay, I kind of you in that right spot there. Perfect, all right. I'll glue this lettuce down right here. which way I had it. Was it like that? Maybe? I think so. I think it was hanging off partially because then I had it kind of like, like that. Okay. All right. Mm. 
It's gonna be tricky because I gotta only glue part of it because the other half's gotta be cut off. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I like that. That actually looks really good. And then I'm gonna trim off this edge piece. I'm gonna use this other edge piece. I'm just gonna stick it over here. I'm gonna stick it over there. All right, let's go ahead and just trim off this edge here. There we go. Okay. All right, get off me. Let go. All right, then we're just going to go ahead and get some glue on this small tiny piece. Glue it on the other side. Waste nothing. I mean, even, even your little trims, even your little trim offs can still be used elsewhere. See, just like that. I may not have covered up all of it, but I don't care. I don't care. I think this looks really good as is. I love this. I love this so much. I love the color. It's got a really good color going on here. See how easy that was? It was so much fun. It didn't take a whole lot. I mean, you could totally add more stuff on here if you wanted to. You can go crazy. I mean, you can totally add like mystery stickers or washi tape, whatever. Absolutely whatever. You can go crazy. And I, that's what I love about doing the mystery one. It's like you can just go ham. You can do whatever you want. Okay. I love this so much. We're going to do another page. That's right. We had time to do another page. Why not? Why not? Let's go ahead. All right. Now, I think this time I'm going to go ahead and try and find a full page. Let's see if we can't dig out a full page here. That's at the bottom I can grab. Let's see. Okay, here's a full page. Nice big one. Nice big one. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. What do we have here? Oh, okay. That's really pretty. We can work with that. Absolutely. Now, I don't technically have to use the whole full page if I don't want to. If I pulled it out and I kind of liked some of the images, like if I just wanted to cut her out, which actually she is wearing a gorgeous dress, by the way. I think it's sparkly. <gasps> I want that dress. Or if I just wanted to cut her out and use her, I totally could. I have little bits here that I could use as background pieces. <clears throat> or even as something on the back, like these three images. If I wanted those, I could cut those out. I don't have to use the full page if I don't want to. But I want to right now. So... That is what we are going to do. Oh, I hate gluing down full pages. <clears throat> Probably the worst, the worst thing in glue booking is full pages. Not gluing down the full page. I do. We're just gonna do a little bit at the top here and slowly work our way down. Cause it's it's too much. It's overwhelmingly too much. I still have to have dinner yet. I don't have to have for dinner. Okay. Oh, oh, now it's crooked. No, no, no. Okay, can I get you to move? No, it's not moving. Okay, shoot. No, 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 no. Oh, see, this is what I hate about full. Oh, see, it already ruined. Already got ruined. If I can just get it where I want it to be. Okay, good enough. You know what? Maybe we'll just have to cover it up. Well, we'll cover it up with something. We'll cover it up. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and move this. So we can go ahead and start gluing the next section down. Get the cat hair out of the way. <laughs> Although, you know... It wouldn't be a craft project, but you know, out a little bit of animal glitter. We love our fur babies, so you know their fur should be part of the part of the project. All right, get the rest of this all the way down to the bottom. Finish it off. The birds are chirping so peacefully outside. Oh my gosh. And then you hear the loud, noisy cars go by. My neighborhood's not really that quiet. So I can never really just have peace and quiet because I'm really close to um, Lake Michigan. So when it gets nice out, you hear all the crazy boats and the jets and it's like, Arr! so it's not 100% peaceful and quiet. It's not. All right. 
I'm not gonna worry about trimming off the edge. I'll do that after I'm after I'm done. All right, full page in. Now let's start grabbing more images. Okay, I'm not gonna go for real big ones because I don't want to cover up too much of the background. So I'm just gonna kind of grab for some small things here, like this one. What was that one I just had? What was that? Like this. I have no idea what this is, but it feels interesting, so I want it. <gasps> Okay, let's see. What is that? There's something that kept... What is that? What is that? I don't know what it is, but I want it. Okay. I grabbed just a few pieces, and then we just... <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love that so much. That is gorgeous. It's perfect. I love it. Oh, we got some words. Cool. Oh, that's actually a really good word. Really good saying. Bring a whole new standard of quality to your quality time. That'll actually go really good with this. And I'm liking this color here. See, isn't that pretty? If I put that there and then stick that up. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, it looks like I've got another bright colored thing here. That's actually really cool. And you know, I don't have to, because it doesn't really make much sense, I can cut these into smaller pieces. And actually, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I want to do. I'm going to cut them down into like same manageable pieces here. And I'm going to line the bottom like this. Yep, I want to do that because that's really cool. Go ahead. See, I can do whatever I want with the pieces. Whatever I want, see? I'm just line the bottom like that. <gasps> Isn't that cool? I like that. And I'm going to take this last piece here and kind of you know, like stick it in there just to throw a little more color in there. Isn't that cool? I like that. I love how that turned. That has turned out so good. Okay. Um, that piece has got to be glued down first. Go down about right there. Get that piece down first. Okay, about, I think it was about right there. Good enough. All right, then this one is next. Actually, I'm gonna get this down here because I don't want getting glue all over the thing. Everything would stick to it where it shouldn't. I really want to add some more images to my uh, to my box here. But my goal is to kind of have that box like really full. Like I'd love to have it just packed full of things. I know it might make it a little hard to kind of dig through it, but I just think that'd be so cool and so much more fun. Like having it really full. So I need to add some more. So I, I should just, you know, when I'm harvesting and I have a basket full of unsorted I should just take the unsorted and just dump it all in there just dump it all in probably do that eventually but then I also will take some images that you guys send me and I will stick them in there as well so it's kind of got a mix of stuff that I have harvested and stuff that you guys have sent me which is awesome So yeah, so if you guys want to send me some more like harvested images for the mystery box, you totally may. We dump them in here and we'll have fun. But you don't have to if you don't want to. That's totally that's totally up to you. You have that option. This looks really cool. We got a couple pages here that got lots of really gorgeous color in them. I'm, I love this. I'm really into color right now. Like, just kind of obsessed with color. Oh, yep. Yeah. We had a uh, drive-by meowing from Mr. Orion. Did you guys hear him? <laughs> had to come run around the corner and give his little say. They have his two words in. There's two meows in. Okay. All right. Should I add some more? Should we Should we add a few more? We could add some smaller ones. Or should we leave it? I don't, I feel like it needs just a little bit more. It needs a little bit more, but we're going to go with little. It needs just a little bit of a little more. Okay. Let's see. Actually, 
we have to wipe the fingers off because they are very sticky. And I don't want to be reaching into my thing. I don't want to be reaching into my basket and getting everything sticky on me. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's go ahead and grab some small pieces. Let's see. Here's one. Mm, let's see. There's another one. I'll do one more. Just one more. Maybe a nice tiny one or something. That one's too big. Mm. Okay. Mm, too big. Mm, that one's all right. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What do we have? What did I pull out? Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Let's see. What is this? Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding? No. <laughs> we got some bread. We got a cute bag. I mean, these all kind of really go well with this but then we got that <laughs> then we have that oh my gosh you know what we're gonna we're gonna have to I mean it, it <laughs> so funny I'm gonna I'm gonna I have to because it just it's funny it's it's like it doesn't go and it's so funny what do I want the bag though do I want the bag down here it kind of covers up a lot of that border. So I'm like, I don't want to cover that up. It's really cool. I could... Mm, no, because that covers her up. I don't want to cover her up. I could put the bread here and put this bag over here, maybe? No. No, actually, it looks better right here. It does. And then the bread goes right here. Looks like that one right there. Okay. Yep, that's actually a good a good, good spot for them. Good spot. <laughs> I can't believe this is so funny. <laughs> That's funny. I can't believe I can't. This it was all random, random picking. That's all part of the mystery. And then you just gotta work with it. You just gotta work with it. I like my cute little fussy cut of bread though. That's really cute. And that's what kind of is really fun about doing the mystery one is it makes a really crazy funny page like you're putting things on there you would never think to put together and it still turns out great and it's also it's funny it's just so funny I mean you gotta have you gotta have some laughs when you're doing crafting you, you gotta have that and I totally get if some people don't like this like they don't like the chaos like this they need to have a little bit more you know order or it needs to be matching or they need to have a theme or something i totally get that i totally understand that and that's all right not everyone has to do this you don't have to if you don't want to i do it because i love it this makes me happy so only do it if it makes you happy and there we go a whole nother page in our mystery glue book two whole pages actually and they turned out so good look at the bright colors bright colors i love it they actually turned out really good. They turned out so good and I love it so much. And I'm leaving the back side of these uh, blank because I'm not sure if I want to do both sides of the page yet. Right now I'm just working on one side throughout this, uh, this book. And then if I get to the very end, I'm like, okay, I wanna add them on the back, then I will do that. But right now we're just working on one side of the page, I'm leaving these, these uh, other sides, you know, Leaving them blank for right now. Just because I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided. It's okay. You don't have to make a decision right now. It's like, hmm. there's no problem with just working on one side of the page. And you can always come back later and add more. Which I might. You know, I might do it because, you know, I, I really like this. It's a lot of fun. I think it'll be oh, a lot of fun to uh, have this really filled up with lots of fun, crazy pages. I mean, it already is. I mean, it's getting nice and full. I do this book a lot. <laughs> I do this one quite a bit because I love it so much. So, yep. There you have it. My mystery glue book. One of my top five favorites with two new pages in it. Turned out amazing. I love it so much. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. It's a beautiful day out. I hope it's a beautiful day out for you guys. I hope this video was fun for you. As much fun as I had making it. I hope it was inspiring for you, give you a, you know, a little push to try a little bit of mystery. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, you won't know you'll like it until you try it. Okay, that's, that's 
pretty important there. It's like, you won't know if you like it if you don't try it. So give it a little try. You don't, even if you don't like it, you don't have to do anymore. It's like one page, give it a try. And there you go. You can come up with something really awesome. Like, I love this one. I love this one so much. Okay, guys, I'm done rambling. I'm done. If you liked it, hit the like button. Also, subscribe. Stick around because, you know, I'm trying to post every single day. At least I try to anyway. But I will see you in the next video, guys. Keep on gluing.